Want to bake a lemon cheesecake with me? Let's go. So first I'm going to crush up some graham crackers. Um, I could use a food processor, but I chose to do it this way. It's just way more fun. And um, yeah, so, <laughs> and it's also great to, to, you know, go back to the basics in case, uh, in case your stuff breaks down. Then I'm going to add some sugar and some melted butter. And I noticed that using my spatula wasn't going as fast as I'd like. So I decided to take my rings off and boy, that was a pain, but it really helped uh, incorporate the butter with the crumbs. Then I just kind of use my hands to spread the crumbs across uh, around the edges. And then after that, I just take a flat uh, measuring cup just to flatten up the surfaces. I'm going to bake that for 10 minutes. And while I do that, I'm going to mix up my ingredients for the cheesecake. So first I'm going to add some cream cheese and sugar, and I'm going to let that go for a few minutes while I scrape down the bowl over and over again until it's as soft and creamy as I want so that there's no chunks in the cheesecake. I'm going to bring you over to this side now so you can see the texture. See how soft that is? That's exactly what you want. Then I'm going to add some heavy cream, lemon juice, uh, flour. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> that's, that's the flour. <laughs> uh, the lemon juice and the lemon extract. And then I also use uh, vanilla extract. Uh, sorry, that was lemon zest. Vanilla extract, lemon extract, and then a little bit of yellow food coloring to give it some yellow. Um, the egg yolks will give it the rest of the yellow that I want. So then I add in my eggs one at a time. I like to break them in a clear bowl before I throw them in just to see if there's any shells. And after that, it's ready to bake. But you know, cheesecake is one of those things. It's so easy and it's so delicious. It's just, uh, it's one of those desserts and just so lovable. And, um, yeah, I, I'm going to do a bain-marie or a water bath for this cheesecake. So instead of putting aluminum foil around the bottom of the springform pan, I'm just going to use a bigger pan to put it in. I, I have it and I don't like using the aluminum foil, so this is my favorite way to do it. So I just put it in a pan and another pan and then, and then I do the water bath. And that's basically just taking some boiling water and putting it in uh, a bigger pan to create some steam so that your cheesecake doesn't crack. And that is my quick little tutorial on how to technically bake a cheesecake. I'm not going to give the recipe. I just like showing techniques and showing you the fun stuff I get to do all the time. I'm going to break away the crumbs from, or the, the crust from the walls so that it'll break free easier when it's cooled down. And that's it. That is the cheesecake. Here I'll show you the final picture. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.